I'm now going to give you an overview of exactly how Jaxi works. Now the first thing I'm going to do is my initial keyword research. So today what we're going to do is we're going to use the term Bluetooth headphones. Okay, so I simply type that into my little search area here and I'm going to go ahead and press the search button and what it's going to do, it's going to gather some keywords for us and uh, here we go. So before we delve into these too much, let's go ahead and learn what each column means. So the first column is the initial keyword column, okay? The first keyword that you see that's highlighted in yellow is your initial keyword search. Now all of the rest of the keywords uh, are related keywords, okay, that are initially related to your uh, search. Okay, now the next column we have here is monthly searches. This is the approximate amount of searches this particular keyword has in a given month. The next column is the estimated traffic column. And this basically means uh, is an estimated amount of traffic that you can receive if your website is ranked number one for that particular keyword. QSR stands for quoted search result and what that basically means is it gives you the level of competition, the level of, of other websites that are essentially out there based on that keyword. Okay, It's called quoted search result Okay, and, and in this particular column we're looking for anything below 400. KQI is the keyword quality indicator and it is a red yellow green light system to give you a visual overview of exactly uh, how well that keyword is. Okay, so if it's red, it means it's not good. If it's yellow, it means the keyword quality is okay. And if it's a green light, it means the keyword quality is excellent. Now SEO power basically is a score based on uh, a culmination of traffic, QSR and the level of competition, okay, which is on a scale of 1 to 100, and the higher the number, the better the SEO power. The next uh, column is the domain search. So you actually have the ability to search for the domain name for that particular keyword right within Jaxi. It's a real convenient feature. And lastly, uh, our last column is a to-do section. So if you're the type of keyword researcher where you're trying to gather a whole bunch of keywords, uh, you can literally just click on that and that's going to give it, put it into a to-do column, which we'll get into in another video. Lastly, way over here on the left, we have a another related keywords column, which kind of delves out a little bit more beyond the the uh, these other keywords. Okay, uh, and these are just other keywords that don't necessarily have data uh, right away. All you have to do is click on it, and it'll give you the data for that. Uh, and if we swap it, there's a little swap button here, and what we can do is we can switch to what's called our brainstorm queue. And this is actually another feature inside Jaxi where it shows you, you know, if you really have nothing to, you, you, do, you can't come up with any ideas in terms of keywords, you can use your brainstorm queue uh, to help you find keywords, and we'll get into that in another video. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start clicking some of the QSR. So initially, you know, normally what you'd want to do is just going to go ahead and click all the QSRs, but for instance, in this particular situation with Bluetooth headset, with a amount of, uh, uh, of searches and estimated amount of traffic, I, I have a pretty good idea that this is not going to be a good keyword based on that, that it's such a, a competitive keyword, okay, and I was right. but. What I'm just going to do in this situation is just going to go ahead and start clicking some of these QSRs. Quoted search result. And as you can see, as I click on the get QSR, I'm actually also getting the, the get SEO score. Okay, so there we go. All right, now that we have all of our data here, uh, what we can do is just start, just start kind of going through and seeing which ones look good. So for example, uh, Boz Bluetooth headphones uh, gets a, an amount of 687 searches in a given month, okay, and a QSR of 
172 with a KQI green means it's uh, it's really good, really high SEO power. I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can find, see if a domain name is available for that. So I just click on the view domain and right off the bat Bose Bluetooth headphones .com is available. So I can actually go ahead and click on this and buy the domain. Uh, this link will actually go ahead and take you through to godaddy.com with the domain name already uh, set to buy. Okay, And that's literally how easy it is to find a keyword inside Jaxi. And that's just an overview of all of the features within the search area of Jaxi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to do some keyword research here. And there is one keyword that actually stood out to me here. So I'm just going to scroll down and share it with you. And where did it go? There it is. Stereo Bluetooth headphones. And what we have is 803 monthly searches and a QSR of a 424. So it's a little higher than, than what we're, our initial target is. So what we're actually going to do is uh, we're not going to touch that one just because even though it does have a green um, KQI, I personally like to have a limit of 400 or below, so I'm actually going to leave that one alone. So it's good that we we realize that because it was um, it was tempting, you know. Just out of curiosity, we can see if the domain is available. Stereo Bluetooth headphones. So .net, .org, and .com is already taken, but .info is not taken. Uh, another one I saw is best Bluetooth headphones, and we've got uh, 1,200 searches with, uh, let's see, 200 estimated traffic and a QSR of 336, so that looks a lot better. So let's actually quickly go ahead and see if there's a domain available. Uh, let's see, all the domains are taken. So, and this is what essentially uh, using Jaxi is all about.